How's it going guys? Today we're going to go on the front bear hug. Okay, the front bear hug is going to be over both arms or under both arms. So the first thing we need to learn how to do is to be able to step in between our partner's legs. So basically if we imagine his feet are two railroad tracks, I'm going to step one, two, three. So I'm right inside those railroad tracks but pointing the same way. If I have to, I can over rotate a little bit, but under rotating is not going to be very good for this throw. Okay, so the first movement that we're going to practice, thank you, sir, is going to be just like this. I call it the bunny hop. So I'm here on the balls of my feet. I step one diagonal, two back, and then three square up. I'm on the balls of my feet the whole time. I never let my heels touch. And then a little hop. One, two, three, hop. Right? We can hop a little more forward and back also. So it's one, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. So we make sure everybody understands how to do that motion. Because now where we're going to be is my uki grabs me over both arms, right? He bear hugs me here. My hands are going to find his hips, and then I'm going to get my elbows against my stomach. Kind of like when we brace ourselves like that, so that I create a bar between he and I so he can't get me too close. So he's grabbing me. Bop. If he's too low and I can pull my hands out, then my hands might come out. And I can go to the over one, which we'll look at in a second. But it should be right above my elbows. There we go. Palms in, fingers out on his hip bone. Boom. Now, no matter how tight he squeezes me, he just squeezes my elbows into my stomach. Now, I back out until preferably I open his grip a little. But sometimes you might not, depending on their size. But now, one, two. That's my grip. Now, I step one, two, three. I lower my level. Preferably, I'm still on the balls of my feet, just like the bunny hop. Pull him on top of me and extend my legs. To finish the throw, we will not be finishing the throw in class because a lot of the beginner class might not know how to break fall yet. But I'm gonna throw you, okay? And here we go. We end up right here. So once again, my uki grabs over. Bop, here I go. Out, brace, back up, one, two. Set on my feet, bop, one, two, three, and up. I'm always trying to pick him up by extending my legs, not by bending my waist. Good. The second one is the same thing, basically, but he holds under. When he's under, I windshield wiper with my hand in front of his jaw so it's on his neck. I build a frame. Now I'm going to open it. As soon as it opens, I'm going to pummel under, hold. Now I step one, two, three. Up, and I throw. From the other side, here we go again. Windshield wiper, open, under, hold. So the only difference between under and over is going to be if I'm double unders, I grab here. If I'm double overs, I grab here. So it's the same thing. One, two, three. Bop. Unless you have more advanced students working with each other, I'd rather they don't fall right now. We're just learning how to do it. Everyone's going to line up the same direction so that we don't fall into each other. And that's the drill, basically. That's our front bear hug over and under. When you're talking about the self-defense, there's not that many different ways people grab on you. It's from the front, over, under, from behind, over, under, a headlock, maybe a full Nelson, pretty basic, a wrist grab. There's not a ton of different things we have to look at. Here's two of them. Thank you very much.